morning all. Hope you had a nice weekend and welcome to this training 20 looking at some mobility for the shoulders. My shoulders are pretty sore. They're actually sore than they, today than they are, were yesterday, uh, especially in the deltoids and traps. So today's going to be really good for that. You definitely need a stick for pretty much all of these exercises. So yeah, you need a stick for this one. So broom handle or mop handle. But we're just going to start off with this stick. Obviously, if yours isn't as long as mine, don't worry. You should manage to do most of these exercises. Some of them will be tougher if you've got a smaller stick. But all we're going to do is rest your arms on top. Again, just rest up here, depending on how long your stick is. And we're just going to go some rotations, first of all. Now, this little session is primarily shoulders. 90%, we've got some upper back stuff as well which is just as important for the shoulders sometimes anyway, as tight upper back and lats lead into shoulder issues as well. So we're just rotating first. And then from here, you're gonna keep your arms where they are. And we're just gonna rock the head side to side with this stick resting on our traps. It allows us to keep our shoulders level or stretching out the neck up side to side, so just nice and gently taking that head from one side to the other, feeling that stretch down the side of your neck. Now, all of these first ones, I should say, don't have to be done on the knees. It'll be obvious when we need to come down to the knees, and I'll tell you when. So if you don't, if you're uncomfortable on your knees for a long period of time, then feel free to stand up for these first ones. And then we're going to wrap the head forward, and then look up. All right, so take the stick in front of you like so. We're gonna go for a dislocated stretch first. The wider the hands, the easier this becomes. So I recommend starting as wide as you can, but what you have to do is keep the arms straight. So I'm gonna show you nice and wide to start off. Keep those arms straight, it goes all the way over and all the way back. Try not to arch the back when you're doing this, but we're gonna do this again later on the floor where you're not, you, you can't do that, so. For now, really try not to, but don't worry too much. If it's too easy, simply bring your hands closer together, but make sure you're keeping those arms straight. So if you go too close and you can't get round without bending an arm and stuff, we don't want that. So we want to be able to get round with straight arms. Don't keep the shoulders depressed. We don't want to be like raising up the shoulder like so. So nice control, keep the shoulders pinned down Round they go, and back up. Quite uncomfortable at first in a lot of different areas, but work into it, find a comfortable starting position, and then you e it eases off, so you can slowly move your hands closer together as you go. It's a good stretch for the chest, really good for the shoulders. Cool, so when you start wanting to take the stick behind your back, what you're going to do is take your hands so that underhand, also you've got your palms facing forward like so, and then again, go nice and wide to start off. We're going to do the same thing, keep your arms straight, it comes over like so. This may be the most uncomfortable position for you. You can keep it just a bit higher if you don't like coming all the way down here, but keep a loose grip, keep the arms straight and back over you go again. If you can take your hands closer, then do so. And don't worry about coming all the way forwards. But still, just have to rotate those shoulders like so. Now, 
like I said, you can do these on you while standing as well. So feel free to do so. Next one we're going to do, we're going to take the stick up like so, grab it with one hand and then you're going to bring the stick on the outside of the elbow, the elbow is going to be dead in line with your shoulder, you're going to grab the bottom of the stick down here and twist that, see how that elbow position stays with the shoulder, you're rotating from there and opening up here like so, pull out and twist. And then we'll swap sides, the same again. Grab the stick, take it to the outside of the elbow, make sure the elbow is over the shoulder, and then twisting out like so. Nice controlled pause for a second in that position. Couple. Oh, nice. Next one we're going to do, give the shoulders a good stretch out here. So I want you to bring it, stick in front of you like so, one hand above the other to start off. You can double them up, that's up to you. But I'm going to keep them one on top of the other and then alternate. So what we have to do is make sure we've got enough space. Flat back, we drive the head down, keep a hold of the stick, and hit that big shoulder stretch there, holding this position. Feeling that shoulders flat back, driving the chest down. Hold this position, and then we come back up. I recommend now alternating hands, so you've got a different hand on top, and driving back in. Keep those arms straight. Driving the chest down. Lean the stick forward. I'm always leaning a bit backwards. So try and keep the stick up straight. And then back up we come. Swap sides again. Really effective stretch this one. You can do it with your hands on anything, but we're using a stick for everything today. Obviously with having one hand on top of the other, you will feel one side working more than the other. So feel free to wrap the hands and go doubles. But otherwise, just keep alternating sides as well. And we've got one more here. Cool, we'll rest there. So, next we're going to go for a underhand grip like so we're going to take our elbows to the floor so bring yourself forward bring your elbows to the floor and then driving that chest down again with our hands up with the stick up above there now this is a very similar stretch to what we just did bring it out and rest here and then you can sink back in 
This is prime, still good for the shoulders, but a lot for the lats primarily. So hold this stretch. Again, take your knees wide, try and keep that back flat and rest that over here before sinking back in. more out and sink in we'll rest there nice so the final one's a bit of a tricky one on the knees so what we're going to do we're going to take quite low to the bottom of the stick almost to the bottom take an overhand grip and then with the other hand take an underhand grip now it's almost like a reach through. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this stick just outside your knee to the floor and put this, push the stick down into the floor. Now, as you guide through, you're gonna start to slide it through until you can rest yourself down in this reach through position here. From here, this underhand drives into the floor to allow you, see how the body moves there? It's a twist by pushing the stick down to the floor. Twist like so. Hold that position there. Really good back stretch. Twisting like so. And then to come out of this one, I recommend letting go with the bottom hand, bringing it over to the side, and then pushing yourself back up. Otherwise, it can be quite tricky to come out of that one. Swap over to the side. So, um, overhand at the bottom, underhand at the top. Take it just outside the knee and then slide it across as you go down until your shoulder and head's down and then push down with that top underhand to twist the body like so. Big hold here. And relax again. Bring that hand through, push yourself back up is what I find the easiest way to get out of it. So we're going to do one more on each side, so back we go. And twist. And then one more time on the other side. Remember, overhand at the bottom, underhand at the top. Arm goes through and twist. Cool, nice. So we're done there, so you can bring yourself down to the floor now. We're going to be lying on our stomachs. First one we're going to do is here. So we're in this sphinx position. What you're going to do is try and keep light on your elbows. So you're going to extend out, keep it flat, squeeze the shoulders back and down, and then try not to push down too hard, otherwise it'll be too hard to come up, especially on what, depending on what surface you're on. You're going to slide back up into that sphinx, feeling those upper back muscles come into position. Out you go. And then back up. Like so. That's it. We're going to go for five of these. I am wary of time, so we may fly through some of these. But definitely come back to them. And you can go for as long as you want. Pause me if you need to and go as long as you want in some of these, especially on the ones you enjoy or the ones you feel work the best. 
I just want to give you a good amount. And there's lots you can do with a stick. There we go, okay? So the next one we're going to do is the dislocated stretch. Now, if you can't do this, go back to standing or kneeling and continue there. Because it is hard on the floor. Because being on the floor, we're going to tuck the hips down and make sure our hips stay down, which means you can't arch with the back. So take your hands above your head with an overhand grip and it comes behind, core strong, keeping it flat to the floor to here and then back forwards. Take your hands close if you can, but keep those shoulders depressed and rounding back and forth like so. We're going to go three more. Last one. Cool, nice. Now bring it to the bottom of your back, so back to here, and take your hands over the other side. So now you've got your hands over the top, like so. I'm going to go for that other one that we did. Standing. Round it comes. Back of the hands touch the front. And then back we go. Same again, keeping the shoulders depressed. Arms straight. Nice controlled movement. Six reps here. Again, you can do way more reps than this. You can spend a lot of time on any of these exercises. But I just want to give you a good run through of a ton. So you've got loads to choose from and loads to work on. There we go, rest it there. I'm going to bring it back above the head. Now we're going to go for a closer grip. About, like, it, like you would do a shoulder press, so about shoulder width, if not a tiny bit wider. What we're going to do is that to lift it up and go for a behind the head press. Now sometimes if you struggle with this, it's easier to start behind the head. But I'm going to start here. So what you want to do, you want to lift up. Press behind the head, back up, and down. When you lift up, really engage the shoulders before you do anything else. So, shoulders engaged, press, back, and down. This one's a tough one. We're going to go for six reps. Three more. rest there so final one we're going to do we're going to bring this stick running right down the body across the body like so we're going to place one hand i'll show you this way one hand on the head and one hand around the lower back like so core strong lift those elbows off the floor we're going to pull apart nice big pull keep pulling and then relax but keep the elbows up let go of the stick, keep the hands off the floor, they rotate round, they twist over halfway, and then they're just going to do what the opposite one was doing a second ago. So go up the top, go up the bottom, pull away. Just keep those elbows up. Then relax, let go. Rotate. Hands on the stick, and pull. Relax. 
let's go. Big rotation. Hands on the stick. Here we go. Do one more of both of these. And it goes. And the final one. And rest there, well done. Nice, so I hope you enjoyed that. Definitely feel a bit loose from it in the shoulders, lots of lots to work with there. Like I said, use it as, however you like. Choose your favourites, do them as long as you feel like doing. Sometimes if you're just doing a full mobility session, some of them are good as warm-ups as well. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that and then join me for tomorrow for the next training 20.